The Model 3 might be getting its own ludicrous mode advantage probably around the same time the Model S and X get their plaid mode upgrades, which we definitely know are in the works. We even saw a prototype of it being tested at the Nürburgring. That's for sure coming. We haven't gotten official confirmation from Elon that the Model 3 will be getting ludicrous mode, but there are references to it inside the Tesla software that a lot of people have been digging through as well as a reference to a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack inside the Model 3 as well. So this is still speculation we're still in leak territory at this point we're not talking about official confirmation but the more you think about it the more sense it tends to make especially given we know these plaid powertrains they'll be shipping with the model s and x later into 2020 that's going to come with a price jump we're not going to be able to improve our range and speed add a whole motor and improve overall performance for the s and x and not have a price jump come along with it but i think it makes a perfect amount of sense because tesla is making sure their lineup have something in the market for everyone you know it's a pretty big gap between you know performance model s in 2020 which is a little over 100 grand and then hopefully by the end of this year or next year we'll have the roadster at another two hundred thousand dollars with even more insane performance but i think that the plaid upgrades mean that the s and x will start going into that plus one hundred thousand dollar price margin for the people that want that extreme performance that's better than the 2020 teslas already are you'll have that option to pay for those but that does mean that that seventy thousand dollar plus performance Tesla area will have an opening that I think will make perfect sense for the Model 3 performance or whatever this ludicrous mode package is that would be alluding to the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack within the Model 3 maybe getting it a range much closer to the Model S so I could easily see that version of the Model 3 getting like a 360 mile range somewhere around there which would be really cool because there's a lot of people that are a fan of the Model 3 interior in design but would love to get some more performance out of that and I think what would warrant giving the Model 3 that ludicrous branding is being able to beat that zero to 60 time in under three seconds that's kind of where the model 3 taps out right now lowest possible recording we can get is just around three seconds and zero to 60 but if they came out with that ludicrous mode package that would more than likely beat the three second time probably getting it closer to 2.6 or 2.5 not quite as fast as the model s i'm guessing and i do think you'll end up paying a pretty penny for that version of the model 3 don't expect it to be the same price as the current model 3 performance because larger battery pack and maybe some change to the powertrain and motors but this is just I think serving more demographics well because the Model S and X did sell okay in Q4 of 2019 but they definitely I think need to start angling towards a different higher demographic than the Model 3 is because there is a lot of overlap it kind of helped that they got rid of the Model S standard range and made sure that okay if you're getting a Model S you know you're getting your free unlimited supercharging but your only two options are long range and performance there's no mid-tier anymore because if you're going for mid-tier you better just wait for the Model Y or get a Model 3 because that is our mid-tier car. But as they want to improve and enhance the performance of the Model 3, it makes sense that they want to elevate and raise the prices of the Model S and X so that they can compete more with other crossovers and sedans out there in the luxury section. And I think the main thing that the Plaid Model S is going after is, of course, the Porsche Taycan, which they have quite a large amount of room between their starting price for the Taycan Turbo and where the Model S currently sits. There's like a big 50000 dollar gap there and I don't think the next generation Model S is going to match the Taycan. It's still going to undercut it while probably offering better performance and of course extremely better range given that there will be over 100 kilowatt hours within those battery packs. I think this means that in 2020 we're going to see the first Tesla that you can buy and get delivered to you with an over 400 mile range which is kind of exciting for 2020. There's been a lot of talk of vehicles being able to exceed 400 miles whether it's the Roadster, whether it's the Rivian, whether it's the Cybertruck, of course, but there's still yet to be an electric vehicle that you can buy today and drive 400 miles on a single charge. My prediction in today's video, Model S Plaid, that's going to be the first one that can actually do it. But I also think that's great news for people who may be in the market for a Model 3, getting that ludicrous mode package brought to the more mainstream car is going to result in insanely good performance with this vehicle, as well as range that can rival that of what the Model S customers have been accustomed to, while still probably not charging as much. I don't know exactly where they're going to come at it with the Model 3, but given it's much easier to build and there's a lot less parts than the Model S, they can probably result in close to Model S performance between the range and the 0 to 60 while not necessarily being as much. So I could see the ludicrous mode Model 3 actually starting around $70,000, perhaps. I could be way off on that one. That's just a number I'm throwing out there. But what do you guys think? Does it make sense for Tesla to move their higher end premium sedans and crossovers up to the $100,000 plus? 
plus price category, except they just have really good performance and really good range and have the Model 3 kind of make up for where that Model S and X used to stand? Or would you rather the Model S and X kind of stay where they currently are and Tesla just focus on making the Model 3 cheaper? My hope is that they can do kind of a little bit of both. I would like the Model S and X performance to get much better because those are definitely more targeted at track performance. Whereas the Model 3, you know, the whole reason they made it was to make Tesla's more affordable to the masses. So try to understand what both vehicles' true purpose is. Anyway, all that good stuff, let me know what you're thinking down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you have an excellent day. Take care.